What's up guys, it's your boy Dime and welcome to Dime Up Cuz if you're new, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you know when the next video is out. Uh, tell a friend about this channel, man, and uh, yeah, man, let's get it. So this is basically my take on every single basketball team that's coming into the 2020-2021 NBA season. Got my computer pulled up right here. Got the teams in alphabetical order. And hey, if you disagree or agree, let me know in the comments. But like the video, bro. Like the video. I don't like y'all who don't like the video, bro. Come on now. All right. So first team, the Atlanta Hawks, man. Ho. Oh, I If I had to rate their offseason, I would give that an A plus times 1,000, bro. They got Bogdan, Danilo Gallinari. They got Rajon Rondo, of all people. Rajon Rondo, man. Great player. Great player. Makes his teammates better. And he will be a great mentor figure for um, for uh, Trey Young. So, yeah, that was a good pickup for them. I feel like they're going to make the playoffs. That's 100%. I feel like they're going to make the playoffs. They got a good bench. Their starting five is amazing. And uh, I see them making the playoffs maybe around the 6th to 8th seed. Um, maybe not getting out of the first round, though. That's the hard truth. Uh, second, the Boston Celtics, man. Um, that team has a lot of potential, but I do see them midseason trading Kemba Walker. Um, the reason I know a lot of Kemba Walker fans going to be like getting on my head, a lot of Celtics fans, any NBA fans in general are going to be getting on my head for this. But he, he, um, he hasn't really performed well as a player but i might say he makes his teammates better he made jason tatum better he made jalen brown better let me find my hat okay he made jalen brown better man um so yeah man he he's a good pickup for them he, i mean not a good pickup but a good player for them and i see them succeeding in the off season in the playoffs and in the regular season um next the brooklyn nets if you know me, I'm a big Brooklyn Nets fan. I'm biased. You know, we making it all the way. I'm just going to say it right now. We going all the way to the finals, bro. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Karis LeVert, Spencer Dinwiddie, DeAndre Jordan, Jared Allen, Joe Harris, the GOAT, in my opinion. Hey, I'm just saying, man. We, we got everything, man. We got everything. The Charlotte Hornets, man, um. I mean, them picking up Gordon Hayward really didn't do anything for them, except them waste a lot of money. Then they got LaMelo Ball, which is a good pickup in my opinion. Charlotte is a great place for LaMelo um, for the sole reason that um, that it's not like it's a it's not a big place like L.A. or California. You know, it's a place where he can hone his skills and not be distracted too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the Hornets, uh, I feel like they're not going to make the playoffs. But if they do, they're either going to be the 8th or 7th seed, I promise you. But they're going to hang around the ninth, maybe to 11th spot, in my opinion. The Bulls. <sighs> the Bulls, man, I haven't really watched enough Bulls basketball to know what the Bulls are going to do. I know they fired Jim Boylan, which was, which was the greatest thing ever for Bulls fans. Um... But we might have to, uh, they might not make the playoffs again. I mean, they do have Zach Levine. They had, they have Zach Levine, Kobe White, who's a pretty good NBA player, Laurie Markkinen. But I just don't see them making the playoffs. And if they do, they're going to be the bottom of the barrel of the playoffs, like eighth seed, seventh seed, maybe. Um, the Cleveland Cavaliers, um, just get more draft picks, dude. Like, that team is okay. I mean, Colin Sexton averaged 20. So that's good for him. But that's because he's on a bad team. Now, don't get me wrong. Colin Sexton is a good player. Don't get me wrong. All right, don't get me wrong. He is a good player. But, um, yeah, I don't see them making the playoffs anyway. It, they're not making the playoffs. The Dallas Mavericks. Um... They're making the playoffs. And they have Luka Doncic, bro. Doncic, bro. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Doncic. It sounds so weird when I say it. 
And they have Chris Tapps Porzingis. You know, he should be healthy, fully healthy. You know, I love Chris Stapps Porzingis. I love players that are taller than their position average. You know, I like six foot eight point guards. I like seven foot small forwards. Bo Bo, my my guy. You know, I love those guys, man. Um, I see them making the playoffs. They're gonna be great players, man. They're gonna that's gonna be a great team, and I see Luca in top three MVP uh debates. Top three MVP next uh in the twenty 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 one season. I promise you that. Um, shoot, my eyes are messing with me. The Pistons. I don't see them making the playoffs. I do see them trading a lot of players, though. Um, I don't know why. Who did they just sign? I forgot who they signed, but it was a pretty bad signing, in my opinion. I think it was Jeremy Grant. Right? The Nuggets. That that Nuggets guy who was, like, pretty good on the Nuggets. Yeah, Jeremy Grant. That was a stupid signing by them. I see them trading Derrick Rose. I hope he gets to a contender, bro, because I really want to see Derrick Rose actually play for something now. You know, Derrick Rose, man. He he got a soft spot in my soft spot in my heart, man. So I really want to see him play. Um, and the Pistons, I don't see them making the playoffs either. I just see them getting young assets, getting assets, and just get more draft picks, and just hope Killian Hayes is a pretty good player. <laughs> um, the Warriors, a hey, the war the Golden State Warriors are going to be a force, in my opinion. They're gonna be bottom. Of the the playoffs, obviously, since they don't really have that many guys. They do have the new rookie, James Wiseman. But, hey, we've seen crazier things. Hashtag we believe Warriors. Hashtag we believe Warriors, man. And prayers up to Clay, bro. Clay, man. Prayers up to him, man. Um, The Houston Rockets. They're in a big situation right now of losing James Harden. Like, James Harden was the is the guy, man. He's the guy for them. He was there for basically almost his entire career before he was traded because of a stupid luxury tax. Um, they are going to make the playoffs. And in my opinion, this is the best Houston Rockets team that has been formed. They have floor spacing. They have, they have floor spacing for John Wall, right? They have two big men who are smaller than their position, who are versatile, but Demarcus Cousins and um, shoot, <laughs> I forgot his name. Oh my goodness, I have bad memory. Um, Christian Wood. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Christian Wood. Um, yeah, Christian Wood. They got Christian Wood. They they can shoot, drive to the paint, um, block shots. Great interior defense, pretty good perimeter defense, you know. So, um, yeah, that team is pretty stacked. And I'm telling you this, if Harden stays on that team, the new coach, you know what he's going to have to do? He has to let Harden run off ball. He has to. Number one for the Rockets to succeed is to let Harden run off ball. Like Stephen Curry. Because I think in prior seasons, they just had him stationary in the corner on the wing. And who had the ball, right? Who had the ball? Austin Rivers would drive, kick out to P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker throw up the three and miss, right? What do you, what, what you want is James Harden running curl round screens, going from corner all the way to the left wing, shoot a three like Stephen Curry. Come on now, bro. Come on, bro. That's what that new coach needs for him to run off ball. Because if he doesn't run off ball, then the, the offense is just going to be stationary. Okay. Um, The Pacers. The Pacers team, man, I feel like they're going to blow it up after this season. It depends on what's going to happen this season. Okay. They have a big front court situation with DeMontis Sabonis and Miles Turner. Um... Uh, Miles Turner, he's one of those guys we expect to, for him to hit that next level, right? Like, are you going to become the elite big man of the new generation of players, right? Going to be that new elite big man who's going to shoot threes, defend the paint, you know, a new version of the big man. But he hasn't. I think this season was his worst statistical season ever. So, 
I don't know if they're going to trade him, do something with him in the mid midseason. And also the Victor Oladipo situation, him breaking his leg and just coming back. And they really have, they have a very small sample size of what they can expect from uh, Victor Oladipo, man. So um, I expect the, um, the, the Pacers to blow it up soon. This video is 10 minutes long. Oh my goodness. And I still, I got a lot of teams left. Okay. This is going to be quick. The Clippers, the Clippers, Paul George, Kawhi, play better, bro. Play better, bro. The Lakers, repeat, bro. The Lakers, I want y'all to repeat, bro. Just repeat and just play elite level of basketball. Because they just, they they improve their team in almost every facet. And Talon, Talon Horton Tucker, even though he is giving me Anthony Bennett vibes, okay, even if he is, he might still be a baller, bro. <laughs> like, he might still be a baller. I'm a, I don't know. But um, the Memphis Grizzlies, man, made the playoffs. Y'all got really good young talent there. Y'all got Jonas Valanciunas, who's an elite big man. He's going to get you the boards. Ja, uh, John Morant, he's going to get you the scores. I got bars for days, man. You know me, bro. J Jaron Jackson Jr., man, just work on that jump shot, bro. You know what I'm saying? Miami Heat, there's some dogs. They just keep that same mentality. Uh, also, Tyler Hero, he uh, overrated. <laughs> Tyler Hero is overrated. He is very overrated. Um, he's not as good as many people say they are, but um, yeah, he's pretty overrated. Um, but I do see that the, the I, ugh, I do see this Miami Heat team going crazy again. Hopefully that bubble wasn't a fluke. I really hope it wasn't because like I would be so mad if it was. Um, and Bam to make to take that next next step because he took that step this season. I want him to take that next next step. You know what I'm saying? Averaging 25, 13, 15 rebounds, uh, one point one and a half blocks. You know, prime Dwight Howard numbers. I feel like he could be a prime Dwight Howard, but be better than Dwight Howard. Just saying. Oh, the Milwaukee Bucks, man. Get to the finals, bro. Just get to the finals. Um, with Giannis signing that extension, man, that um made their case to get to the finals even stronger, you know. And now Giannis is being pressured. You know, a lot of pressure's on him to make the finals. You know, just like LeBron, a lot of pressure's put on LeBron. You know, Giannis is starting to get that uh, LeBron treatment. You know what I'm saying? He's got to deliver each and every night. He can never, he can never have a bad game without being scrutinized. Okay. The Minnesota Timberwolves make the playoffs. Y'all have y'all, y'all. They have probably one of the best case scenarios in my opinion. But prayer, uh, prayers up to Cat, Car Anthony Towns, man. Uh, he's going through some stuff right now, man. I just hope he. Uh, he plays better and uses that as motivation to uh, become that next level elite big man that um, he's destined to be. Um, but yeah, that team is good. They have good. Per they have perimeter defense now with Anthony Edwards. That's what I was pleading for. I was pleading for them to get Anthony Edwards because he's a good defender and they need perimeter defense because D'Angelo Russell is not defending a thing. He is not defending a thing, guys. And now that they have Anthony Edwards, he will be a good addition to them defending on ball and off ball. Um, the Pelicans make the playoffs. Shoot. They got Zion, Brandon Ingram, uh, this, uh, Steven Adams, Lonzo. Crazy starting five, am I right? Wait. Brandon Ingram, Zion, Lonzo, Steven Adams. <sighs> Jackson Hayes. That's an elite starting five. Crazy defense. Wait, I'm tripping. I really am, right? No, I'm... Edit that out. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I made the playoffs, man. That's a dangerous starting five. The strongest front court, in my opinion. That's a very strong front court. Imagine 48 minutes of just going through their screens. You would die. <laughs> um, the New York Knicks. What do I have to say about the Knicks, man? Click Productions, bro. They're not making the playoffs, man. But they do have the greatest player of all time, Julius Randle. Um, the, the, the Thunder. 
Uh, get into the lottery, man. Use those picks, baby. Use those picks, man. Use all those picks. Um, yeah. Use those picks, man. And Shay, he about to have the greatest season of his career. He about to have all the touches, bro. He about to have all the touches in the world. Excuse me. I just ate some Subway. Shout out to the homie. Um, the Magic give up on Aaron Gordon. I'm serious. Give up on Aaron Gordon. He's not going to be the player y'all think y'all want him to be. He hasn't taken that next step. You see what I'm saying? He hasn't taken the next step. He hasn't done anything in his career yet. Substantial. Something big in his career, you know? I mean, he did get cheated a lot of times in the dunk contest. But who cares? Right? He hasn't done really much in his career. Okay? Not much. So, it's, I think it's time to give up on him. Trade him to get somebody who's more productive. Trade him, first round pick, somebody else. And Markel Fultz, keep developing him, Steve Clifford. Please. You're a good coach, man. You're a great coach. Keep developing uh, Markel, man. Because I feel like he's going to have a breakout season this this year. Um, the 76ers... The Philadelphia 76ers, uh, just, I don't know, man. Um, people saying they might trade Ben Simmons. I don't see them trading Ben Simmons. I really don't. Because Ben Simmons, man, but him and Embiid don't really work good on the court together. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. For that team to succeed, Ben Simmons needs to shoot threes. They need better floor spacing. And I think that's what they're trying to do when they got uh, Seth Curry and Danny Green. Those pin down screens that they imitated with JJ, they're about to imitate with JJ Redick. I think that's what they're going to do. Um, the Phoenix Suns make the playoffs. I mean, every team should make the playoffs, but the Phoenix Suns, I think they should. They have to make the playoffs. You have Chris Paul. One of the greatest point guards of all time. Okay? And that's what y'all wanted. Y'all needed a new point guard. Somebody who's going to make the teammates better. And I'm going to tell you this. Okay. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and DeAndre Ayton. Crazy. Lob threat. Somebody to pass to, man. Three scoring.
the Raptors um, blow it up as well. Blow that up, man. Because um, I don't think y'all y'all getting out the second round anymore. I mean, when y'all had Kawhi, y'all was the crap. Y'all was the ish, man. Y'all was those guys. But now that Kawhi is gone and Pascal has to take a bigger responsibility, he kind of freezes in the moment. You see what I'm saying? He kind of freezes. So, yeah. I don't see them making out the second round. I do see them blowing it up and getting younger players. And I would be shocked if they trade Pascal. Okay, I would be shocked if they do. Um, the Utah Jazz make the playoffs. Do what you can in the playoffs. Build around Donovan Mitchell. You know, build around him. You know, uh, build around Rudy Gobert. Build around Donovan Mitchell, man. Get young assets, get good players, get veteran players, you know. And lastly, the Washed Wizards. I mean, aka the Washington Wizards. Um, that's uh them getting Russell Westbrook. Um, I think that's a good team. I feel like they're gonna make the playoffs. Um, but I don't see them getting out of the first round. I really don't. If they do, I will be shocked. And you can come back to this video and flame me. Last time I said that, it came true. So, um, yeah, that's the end of the video, man. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it, man. I know this is a 22 minute video, 22 minutes long. But um, this is coming out tomorrow. This is filmed the same day as the Giannis. So um, this is coming out tomorrow. I hope y'all like the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I love you. God loves you. And I'm out of here. Yeet. Hey, um, I was just editing. And um, I'm sorry. I didn't do the NBA quiz. It, my screen recording didn't work out. But um, yeah, I'll make that up to you one day. Um, but I promise y'all. Uh, my my bad on that part, but uh, my 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 uh, screen recording, um, software wasn't working today. So um, maybe I'll get it working some other day. Peace.